Well, Keegan, uh, another half century for you today for Durham. I think you probably hoping to get on to 100 there. Yeah, finally kind of got the feel of these conditions. I would have loved to score 100 today, but uh, clearly it wasn't for me. What happened? What was with the, uh, the dismissal? I don't know really, I kind of got roped into that. They dropped the point out there and I kind of set me up with that and I fell for it. A uh, bit of a weak moment, but yes, yeah, so be it. Right, and what's the pitch playing like? Because it, it seems like a good batting track, but at times it seems like the ball is not coming through to the batsman as you'd imagine it would. It's either holding up in the wicket or it's just a little bit slow. Yeah, it's a, it's a good wicket, a good batting wicket for most of it. Uh, just feel like you're never in on the wicket. The bowlers always have a good uh, a good spell in them, and uh, at the show today, there were periods where they bowled well at us. So the bowlers always in the game. So as a batter, you really got you got to be focused for most of all your innings. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can do the same tomorrow. I think it's as green as anything I've seen in Durham, to be honest with you. But um, probably the reason why Glamorgan put you in, but it didn't quite play like the green top. I think a few people imagined it would. Yeah, I think all the wickets look green to me over here. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, from the look of it, it looks like it was going to seem around. It wasn't doing as much at the time, but um, yeah. Some decent partnerships, but not the massive partnerships that we saw last week. Where do you think uh, Durham stand as far as 311 is concerned? Do you think that's a, a decent score or do you think you've left a few runs out there? I think we've definitely left a few runs out there, but with us getting two wickets tonight, it, at 310 or whatever it is might seem a lot um, hopefully we can make it feel like a lot tomorrow and bowl well and see where it goes and from your point of view you in the groove now here you've got used to the conditions 50 last week and uh, 78 today yeah i don't really want to jinx it and say that uh, i might get a first baller next week but uh, yeah finally got a feel for the conditions hope i can continue it and what's it like at the other end watching ben stokes in action I can just say that I envy that. I wish I could hit the ball like that. Um, yeah, but he's something else. He is, he's just a good player. It's, it's not much else you can say about it. And has he given the team a real lift the last couple of weeks? Definitely. I think his presence uh, alone in the training rooms gives, it, gives the team a bit of a lift. Um, he's a big character, as we all know. Um, hopefully it rubs off well for the team in the future. And credit to Matty Potts, the leading wicket taker in the country. I think he now has 26 dismissals and he was right at Glamorgan this evening, wasn't he? Yeah, I think with his, his tail has been up the whole to all the games I've played so far. He's bowling really well and hopefully that continues and um, can bowl a couple more sides out.